see a ton. How close is the human eye? Put that in front of my camera. Put that in front of my camera. That's the time. Two second difference. I just wanted to include that to show you how tight this got down to. I mean, Craig and I were two seconds apart. I think I had him by two seconds, but he was uh, on average about two to four seconds faster than me in the woods. A lap. So it was going to come down to who made the perfect lap. And we both wanted this bag because it was going to end up on who ended up in third place, whoever wins this. Go See Anthony standing there. Unfortunately, I don't think it was about the second race. He uh, lost all compression. Probably blew the top end up in that bike. I'm sitting there waiting on my time to tick down. Every 15 seconds, another rider goes. I'm just about done. Four, three, two, one. One under the trend. Tell you what, we were sitting there talking about how close we were time-wise, and we also got talking about how much time would it save if you tried the hill climb. And I did it on the first lap, and almost didn't make it, but I did make it. And I knew how steep it was; it was very steep. And most guys that did it thought that they could gain around eight, ten seconds a lap. So I thought. I got nothing to lose. Uh, if I don't do it, he's probably going to be faster. He's probably going to end up winning. So I had my mind made up that when I rounded the corner and I went over the big hill climb that these guys come down to White Rose is famous for, I was going to have to make a decision right there what I was going to do, and I was going to do it. I was, I was committed. Craig said he was going to go the other way. He didn't feel the risk was worth the reward. And, uh,. I just thought that I, that I had to do it and I was going to try it. And uh, that, that's where we were at with that. Check all these roots out. I mean, tell you what, we, we had her dug up pretty good by the time this last race rolled through here. There was a ton of roots. You know, nothing was wet though. It really wasn't, didn't become even an issue. And uh, yeah, it, it didn't bother me today for some reason. I felt like I was. Uh, a little bit better. I'm trying to run them berms a little bit better. I love this woods course. It was fast and flowy. Lots of room, not too tight. Kind of wish I took that inside line right there. That's for sure. I know I see that sunshine right there. Right here's the big pro hill climb. So you go by that though. See all them arrows. The danger mark. That's the hard route. This is the hill climb right here. You'll make a right and you make a left and you're looking straight up this baby. I nailed that sucker. And then I'm in like high gear just screaming down through here. The last time I did this I saw people I hadn't seen before when I come back on the course because they joined on to our left right up there. Right there goes Craig. Just seeing him going into the woods. So I knew I gained some time on it. It was just a matter of whether or not I could keep that time going and not go down and not make any mistakes. You can see how this, this dirt is just pulverized. It's like running in silt. I'll have to clean the old air cleaner out really good because uh, I breathed in a lot of this stuff here during the day. My freaking uh, nostrils were just coated with uh, dirt. That's pretty much been part of the course this season. It's been so dry this summer, though. That's what you call going into neutral. <laughs> haven't ran into a single person yet, which is uh, kind of odd. I mean, everybody in front of me, I haven't ran into a single girl. Off of Speaking of the devil, here we go. We got finally got caught up to one of them. Now it's going to become a matter of who gets around them better? Craig or me? Well, I 
I tell you what, didn't run into anybody that didn't let me buy today. That was, that was, that was pretty awesome. What the hell, you're screaming down this road, catch this berm, bang it up around. I'm still looking for Craig. I don't know if I'm going to see him or not. I'll give you a little rundown here. First place was doing these laps in 8 minutes and 38 seconds. Brett was running them in 9 minutes and 18 second average. I was running them in 9 minutes and 52 second averages. And Craig was running them in uh, 9 minutes and like 48 to 50 minute or 50 second averages. So I mean, we all were close, Craig and I. The other two pretty much had us covered. Like I said, it's going to come down to who catches these guys in a race ball where you can get around them easy. I was doing everything I could to catch them as quick as possible and get around them as quick as possible. I didn't want to mess around at all. I knew how important this was. Give them a little holler and they moved right over. working on staying up on the pipe and stuff in the woods here like I was in the field section and uh, I'll keep that up and tell you what I felt so much faster today than I have in the past so uh, that's another thing I'll be really working on come our armor races. I think that's a sweep rider up there he'll get out of the way up here. Just make sure everybody's all right. There's a uh, guy by the name of Joe. I'm not sure if he's caught me or not. I haven't seen his front fender or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure he is like right on my butt as we're going around this. He started right behind me, and uh, he uh, he caught up to me. Made the 15 seconds up. By the end of this lap, he finishes right behind me. that thing gets a lot of air. That's a lot of fun. Well, I caught these two guys here. This is going to get interesting, I can tell you right now. Oh, three of them. And we're on the, on the back side, coming right in front of all the campers and stuff. It's, it's kind of off camber, really, really deep powder. I was able to go up on that bank and uh, split the two and get the two for one in that deal. Down and through here in this section, I mean, tell you what. It was probably a foot, foot and a half deep with this powder. If you got down in that lower rut, holy cow. I mean, there were so many guys getting stuck in here. It was kind of like in a big sand dune almost. You just had to like pin it. Just keep her going all the way up over there and uh, pray for the best. I made it up pretty eventful, so I got real lucky. That's right. 
make this right hand turn. I really want to buy this guy, man. I think I could buy him, but... Nah, maybe I do. Yeah, this is the guy I finished behind. I really wish I tried for a pass or something right there, or hauler or something, because uh, at the end of this stinking thing, he uh, races over for him, and he kind of slows up going through the ropes, and I was so worried about losing a second or two, and it came down to Craig and I. We finished four seconds apart. That's all separated us in the race, and I was able to pick up third place out of that deal. But, uh, that's some sprint cross racing for y'all folks. Hope y'all enjoyed the videos and uh, talk to y'all a little later. We got a race coming up in Frackville. Adios.